bait for um, a cob and I want to use a little bit of prawn, a little bit of um, chocker to show you what I do. It's a nice little combination bait. It'll also once again get you your stumpies. It'll get you nearly any edible fish that's in the area. Okay. Now for this one, um, I'm not going to use um, foam. Um, you can use foam. You can dress it up with foam if you want to. <coughs> not all of my baits I'll demonstrate with foam, but that is an option depending on what the sea looks like. And do you all understand when you use foam and when you don't as a broad rule? No. Okay. Um, if the sea is very flat, it's very calm, there's not much happening, okay, I would suggest then use more foam because it creates movement where there isn't really movement. But if you're fishing and it's turbulent and there's far more movement in the water, it's churning, the white water's rolling and so on, uh, go slightly shorter on your traces and you don't need foam because your bait's getting enough movement anyway. Your foam just creates more movement that you don't need. Now, these are red prawns. Okay, you can use pink prawns, red prawns. I prefer red. Um, they definitely have a stronger odor than pink. Um, and once again, are Mozambican prawn as well. I always shell my prawns. I don't leave them shell on. As I turn the prawn inside out, you just cut it down the back. Okay, open it up like that. And there, it's a bit mushy, but that's exactly what you want. I've got a piece of chocker here. That always when you buy chocker, look out for pink. If it's pink and you can see it's pink, don't buy it. Cut off a, a sliver of chocker. Um, that we're going to start to create the base with like that okay pretty sure you all know what I'm doing that for create some movement some tentacles there you go now I personally like to beat my chocker quite don't beat my wife but I beat my chocker my prawn base put together and I create a little tube out of my prawn base okay. so what I'm doing you can see I'm binding together two prawns that have been cut back to back and what we've got here is basically a lump that stinks okay and it's what creates your the tension around the fish okay we've got a nice little cylinder of bait there which we're now going to add the chocker on the one side of taking care to leave part of the prawn open okay okay what we've got going here is a little bait that we then dress you know we didn't build it around the hook we built it now we put the hook into it okay there's one of two ways of doing this I prefer to go through the bottom once okay and then to go out the top okay just like that it's pretty easy and I will make that proud now now, the key with all of these baits, particularly soft baits, um, where bait tends to fold around your hooks, is to keep your hook proud. Okay? And keeping your hook proud is essential to a quick hookup. If your hook's not proud, you invariably are going to miss a fish or it's going to be a lucky hookup. Okay? What I do is I put a, in this case it's a pin, because it's a 6-0 Diachi, not an 8 or a 10 Put a pin through it like that. Once again, my experience is a bait that's now very effective for those fish we're targeting. Here you've got a little bait that's going to go a long way because it's a small bait. You can throw this bait 130 meters no problem at all um, and it's going to sit on a bank and it's going to move around uh, if the water is a little turbulent. If the water is not turbulent we would have put a bit of float in it and that's going to get eaten by anything in the sea I can assure you. 